Welcome, everybody. This is the Glazier Gamble Podcast. You're blurry. I'm blurry? Yeah. To me, you are. Everything's so blurry. (laughs) Hey, Puddle of Mud had some bangers. Yeah, dude. If you don't, if there's really no, not a lot of bands. It fucking hates me. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking, uh, maybe I'm the one. Maybe. Yeah, dude. It's like Scott Stapp. Most people don't, like, most bands aren't completely bad with every song. Yeah. Like, there are bands that I hate that other people love. It's my fucking microphone. It's it's zooming in on my mic. That's why I'm (laughs) slightly blurry. 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 Oh, God. Oh, my God. Okay. (laughs) Okay. All right. (laughs) Look at the nice balls. Uh, I know. (laughs) Look at them. Yeah, just. If you can tell, so my new placement is maybe where my daughter used to, her play area used to be. Used to play. Used to play. She's grown now up now. Now this is daddy's play area. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Um, but anyway, it's not every band is bad. I, I dislike a lot That's of bands. That's what I'm saying. Like, a lot of people don't like Creed. A lot of people don't like Nickelback. Um, but if you don't, if you don't in jam to, can you tear me hard? Like, what is wrong with you? Yeah. yeah. Um, anyway, this is our sports section. If you couldn't tell by all this sports talk, we're here to talk to you about some sports. Joe has an idea for today's episode. Um, I, I'm Michael Glazier. This is Joe Rybolt, and you've been listening to us for 50 some weeks now, over a year. All of you, so many of you, just listening in every week. You can't, crazy. You can't count them on one hand. You, you can't count either of the people on one hand. <laughs> um thanks mom thanks thanks dad thanks mom and uh yeah and thanks myself um so take it away take it away so so, um i saw a short video the other day um in regards to anthony edwards um obviously i think very highly of him i've seen him play multiple games i've seen what he can do on the offensive end and the flashes he's shown on the defensive end so um, it's essentially I, we, I texted you this this week. Some guy compared Anthony Edwards with a couple other um, NBA players: Evan Mobley, uh, Kate Cunningham, Joel Embiid, John Morant, a bunch of others. Mm-hmm. Um, and he said that outside of Joel Embiid, he would take Anthony Edwards over all of them. And just from personality standpoint, um, offensive standpoint, defensive standpoint, uh, and what the player he could become. Sure. And comparing that to all the other players, um, he chose Anthony Edwards second. Okay. Right? So. Okay. So when you texted me, I thought the phrasing you said was in terms of what they bring to their team, not overall right. as a player. I right. thought you meant to what they brought to their team. So right. That, yeah. Because I was confused when you said like Cade Cunningham, because I was like, Anthony Edwards is far better than Cade right. Cunningham. I thought you meant like, does who does Ant mean more to the Timberwolves right. than Cade means to the No, I was like, no. The Cade, Timberwolves have Cat as well. Right? Have Cat, so, Gobert, D'Lo. Yeah. Right. Like, like, I was like, sure, I sure, think sure, Jaden sure. means a lot more. <laughs> right. Cade means a lot more. Right. So, um, so I, I kind of took that idea and kind of ran with it a little sure. bit. Um, so I made a segment that I'm just calling for right now, Ceiling Matters, um, Ceiling a play on matters. Size Matters. Okay. Um, so I have 12, uh, 12 names here that I want you to compare Anthony Edwards' ceiling with. So what you think Anthony Edwards' ceiling is – so this, some of these you got to well, think about. Some of these tough. are obvious. I, it is it because is. Anthony Edwards' floor is greatest player of all time. Right, right. And every, so, that's that's not even basketball. Right. That's every sport he'll ever do from exactly. now till yeah. the end of time. He right. will be the best. So right. hard, but I'll do my best to be fair. Okay. So some of these are no brainers. Some of them you kind of got to think about, and we can uh, we can have a discussion on on them. If well, as a as a no brainer myself, this should be right, easy. right. All right, so uh, so I have twelve names on, on this list. Okay, um, one for every inch. Okay, that's on a, that's on a ruler. Split between these each of us by four. Yes. <clears throat> All right. So number one, um, the most comparable person to him in the draft, his draft, Lamelo Ball. Ceiling. Yeah, ceiling. Now, now this is this is hard because before the draft. 
you probably could say you probably would say Lamella Ball here. Like that'd be probably be a no brainer. But see, and that's but, what I'm thinking. What do you think? Like, because Lamella's probably like an inch or two taller, not nearly as strong. I don't know. Lamelo has uh, shown to me that he really hasn't grown over the two years. Like he kind of was the same player rookie year and second right. year. I think playmaking wise, and he I was that Lamello... same player overseas. Right. Right. So, I think playmaking si- playmaking wise, Lamelo balls better. Right. But seeing like, that, but that's the thing is Lamelo. That's all he's really been doing. Like right. Lamelo hasn't shown growth. So we, to me, he looks like he's closer to his ceiling. Sure. As opposed to Anthony Edwards, who went from rookie year yeah. where he was rookie of the year to uh, no, uh, Lamelo Ball was rookie of the year. I know, I was, yeah. <laughs> and then was, Ben Simmons, then ben Simmons next year was runner up. <laughs> um, but so Anthony Edwards went from rookie of the year to second year where he went like got even better to right. where people were calling him a star or superstar. And now, and now, um, Vegas has him as the highest odds for most improved player, so they're expecting him to take the biggest leap out of any player in the NBA next year. Well, even if he takes so. another small leap, he that's a that's a a small leap when you're already so good is a big leap. Right. So yeah, before the draft I would have said LaMelo Ball after <clears throat> now at this point in their career I'll take Anthony Edwards for ceiling. Right. Right. Anthony Edwards ceiling matters there. Right. Uh-huh. Cade Cunningham. Here's a Hard fun fact. Here's I a very fun enough. fact. Very fun fact I, I saw. Um, Cade, Cade and Anthony Edwards' rookie seasons are practically identical. Okay. Um, they both have a usage rate of 27.2% their rookie years. Uh, exact same. They both average like 19 – or Cade averages 17 points, Anthony Edwards averaged 19. Um, they both averaged five rebounds, and then Cade averaged two more assists. So very similar, very similar stat lines. So this is a tough one because we've only seen Cade for one year. Exactly. Um, But, yeah. Well, and after Detroit gets Kevin Durant, how much is his usage rate going to go down? Right. Um, Yeah, I don't know. I I think with this one. You can say say even, too. I feel like at this point, because I think Ant has a slight. I would say Ant has a slight edge because yeah. we've seen more of Ant. Because sure. we've seen more Ant, I'd probably take Ant ceiling. But if we're projecting out Cade, from I mean, we've only seen one, so we don't know if he's going to show growth. Because if he does another year of seventeen, whatever six right. or whatever it was, seventeen five and five, right? seventeen five five, yeah. Um, if he does another seventeen five five, if he even does like eighteen five seven. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I'm, is that really what he's going to be? Because right. for those who you do that haven't watched, like for the whole year of our podcast, I thought Cade wasn't going to translate very well into NFL, or NBA, right. NFL right. either. Um, I think it's a very similar to like a Kevin Love situation. Where like I was completely they, wrong. No, 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 no. Like he's <laughs> a really good player on a not really good team. Right. And so his numbers could be inflated. And that's that's what kind of scares me with, Agreed. with saying that Cade so, is close to Anthony Edwards. Another ceiling. thing there with back to LaMelo Ball. LaMelo Ball has good players around him and he's still not make he's not necessarily right. accelerating good players and he's not necessarily like showing he's the best of them. Right. So <clears throat> I think I think at this point you could say Ant has a slight edge. His ceiling matters more, slightly more than Cade, right. or they're e- even. Sure. I, I, right. I'm this, fine if you say either. But if you say sure. Cade's is better, your peer projection. Right. Okay. So this one's going to be even harder because this this one is just, just a very raw player in general. Uh, Chet Holmgren. Ceiling? So, yeah. Chet. Ceiling. Okay. I think Chet has the Kevin Durant style level of ceiling right with defense yeah. like i with, think w- yeah chet if chet translates i think so i think it's again hard we haven't seen chet play right summer league doesn't fucking count right um congratulations it's, it's paint defense right for him though 
Whereas Anthony Edwards, Anthony Edwards is not a bad defender. Like he's, no, a, he's, not. he's a, he's a, he's a good defender. He's and a good defender on a bad lead. defensive team. So when right. people look at, Oh, the Timberwolves rank poorly in defense, that must mean Anthony Edwards is bad. Defender. Right. No, Anthony no, Edwards is a chase defender. He's a, yeah, he's a good defender. He can take the number one guy, which he did a lot of, a lot of times. Like he mm-hmm. guarded jaw a lot yep. um, and he can do really well. So yep. if he takes that leap, he could be, he, Anthony, I was thinking about this. Anthony, my comparison for Anthony Edwards is like Paul George. Like he could, like I don't think he's going to be as good of a defender as Paul George, but like I see their styles are kind of similar. Like they kind of both have the clutch gene. They're both good defenders. I don't know. That's that's kind of what I'm I thinking think. of a different Paul, but slightly better. Paul Pierce. Okay. I see Anthony Edwards as like a better Paul Pierce for his. For, sure. Uh, because he's not as tall. Again, right. clutch gene. Yeah, Paul George. Yeah. Um, I think Paul George is a much better shooter than Anthony Edwards. Right. Yeah. Shoot like three pointers. Right. Uh, defense. They both Paul Pierce and Anthony and Paul George both play good defense. So I think Anthony Edwards fair to say. I sure. just, uh, yeah. I think. And then still like where he could be a number one, but you put him with one to two more superstars in his <laughs> championship level. Sure. So okay. I know that sounds that might sound like a demotion to say he's a Paul Pierce, but I think he's somewhere around that Paul Pierce slash Paul George sure. level, as opposed to Chet Holmgren, who, because we don't know what he can provide right. on the NBA court, is a potential KD yeah, but better. We'll do so. yeah, we'll do we'll do ceiling matters in a year and see if this yeah yep. if Chet, this TBD. Yeah. TBD. All right. All right. This is somebody that uh that we played their team. Um, and the player on the opposite team talks smack. Um, Anthony Edwards came out and showed out against their team. And then Anthony Edwards talks smack. Ja. Um, RJ Barrett. Oh, Ant. Yeah. <laughs> That's a no brainer to me. RJ Barrett has more ups and downs during the season than yeah. you don't even have to look overall at the career. He has ups and downs during the season. Like he's a streak a, guy. Yeah. Like during so, a streak, you're like, wow. Top, top, one of the top 25 players in the NBA. Easy. Yeah. And then you see him in his... I've never said that, R.J. Barrett, well, but... If Julius you take, like, Rand- a one game... Like, Julius yeah. Randle, a perfect another Nick. Is it a Nick, is it a Nick thing? I, I think it's a Tom Thibodeau Isaiah thing. Quickly, Isaiah Quickly was, like, Rookie of the Year. Emmanuel. For a little Emmanuel, bit. Emmanuel Quickly, yeah. Is it, yeah, Emmanuel Quickly, like, Rookie of the Year, possibly. It's it's a like Thibodeau a bit. thing, because I we both agree Tom Thibodeau, not a good coach. Right. Um, the year he won coach of the year and they took the Knicks to the playoffs or whatever that's before. And then the Knicks, after they played 48 minutes a game were exhausted and then they got right. terrible again. Right. Like Julius Randall, RJ Barrett's like, yeah, you give them the usage and the minutes. They're going to be good for a short period of time. Like it's not necessarily a Nick thing or a them thing. It's a Tom right. Thibodeau turning them sure. into streaky players. Right. So I'll take Anthony Edwards. Sure. Uh, Andrew Wiggins. We see Andrew Wiggins ceiling already. I don't yeah. think he's getting better. Numbers wise, Anthony Edwards is already about the same. Um, Probably a more efficient score, better score. Better score than Wiggins. Not as good of a defender as Wiggins. Right. Not as good of a rebounder as Wiggins. Right. Because Wiggins just figured out that he that rebounding is easy. Oh, shit. If I have a 44 inch vertical, I could probably <laughs> rebound. Right. This stuff, I mean, this isn't that hard. Why didn't I do this in the past? Oh, because I didn't want to play in Minnesota. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically Canada, and that's where I'm from. But no. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um. I would. I would say. I would say Anthony Edwards ceiling because if we're assuming Anthony Edwards is still going to get better, he's already yeah. about equal to what Wiggins was in Minnesota. All right. Carl Anthony Towns. Has Ant ever had a triple double? He had to be close. There had to be some games where he was close. So you said while while you're looking that up, you said Carl Anthony Towns. No results for an Anthony Edwards triple double. Okay, so yeah, probably have never had one. So yeah, that eh, maybe he's about equal to what Wiggins would be. Andrew Wiggins messed around and got a triple double versus the Raptors on January 18th. He had 36 points or no, 18 points, 10 rebounds, 11 assists. So really, yeah, okay. He was a minus 13. So. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, I, I do think Anthony has would have a better ceiling than Wiggins, but um, uh-huh. yeah. Any Carl Anthony Towns again? Have we seen Cat ceiling? Dude, I mean, twenty six. You can't so I would say, say you can't I say would, a half. Uh... I think there's a good chance that we have just personally. 
I don't think he's shown the drive to. He's at a four. He's at the four now, so he could. He could guess he could with a change of position might get yeah. a little bit better, but inter mentality. I don't think he has the mentality. Like he, he, he know he's like I'm one of the best big men in basketball right now. Why do I need to get better? He seems to have more of that mentality. Sure. So <laughs> nothing, nothing against him. Yeah, go ahead and be one of the best. But um, sure. I think that's. I mean, that was Jimmy Butler, Tom Thibodeau. Maybe Patrick Beverly got it into him, but I don't. Sure. I think I think Cat is an ad about what we're gonna see of him. So because we don't know what Ant is, what is ceiling, I'm gonna probably take right now as a player. I want Cat on my team. To, if I if you're saying sure. who do I want in five years, probably Ant. Sure. Uh, this is this one I threw on here just for you. This is where it gets a little different because we got uh, I got two basketball players left. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah, and the rest uh, switching sports. Yeah. Okay. Moeldy Moore. Oh, and <laughs> come on. Uh, uh, I I, Moeldy's one, one of my favorite players ever. <laughs> I, my I favorite had to throw player. that one in there. But he's been a bat, he was a backup his whole career. Yeah. <clears throat> All Hunt right. returner, Moeldy Moore. All right. Stefan Diggs. Potential. Yeah, here's, yeah, here, yeah. So, I mean, he's, uh, Stefan Diggs right now is probably. Stefan Diggs, like last year, was probably his best season. I think his he's first season, and I think in first season in Buffalo is the best season he'll ever have yeah, yeah. as a foot professional. So I'll take Amp. Sure. Plus fuck uh, Diggs. Right. Um, <laughs> uh, Brian O'Neill. Ant. Okay. I don't think Brian O'Neill is ever going to reach that level of like Joe Thomas level. You know. Sure. Um, I think Brian O'Neill is going to, unless uh, with offensive linemen. Unless you start making highlight plays, like he gets a touchdown, pancake blocks, Miles Garrett. Right. Like, unless you Bradbury 21 yard catch. Unless you start, you know, unless you start making highlight plays like that or winning Super Bowl. Off- I mean, yeah, at the end of the day, offensive linemen don't get any love. Exactly. So, so I'll, I'll probably take Ant here because. All right. Yeah. All right. Joe Maurer. Joe Maurer, surefire Hall of Famer, MVP, bat, MVP, multiple batting titles, potential, like that. That I'll take Maurer. Sure, I'll take Maurer. Seal. Right, here's one. These ones I believe are because no we brands. saw it. Because we right. saw it. Right. That's why I threw him on here. I could have put in Buxton, but like you don't know. If yeah. If, we, if you said Buxton, I wouldn't have hesitated. No hesitant yeah. ant there. Yeah. Um. All right. <laughs> these ones I think are no brainers. These last two. Yeah. Uh, Air Bud. Air Bud. Yeah. Uh, and Lola Bunny. Well, Air Bud was draining half court shots, 100% <laughs> free throw shooter, I think. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. No question. Nobody knew yeah. how to guard him. It seemed yeah. like it almost seemed like there wasn't even a, a dog there on some of the shots. Yeah. <laughs> it's just in, in, Lola Bunny. Yeah. Uh, Lola Bunny, arguably the best basketball player we've ever seen on on the smash. television screen. Oh shit! Not that was a, <laughs> a different game. Different game. Uh, I'm taking. I'm taking Lola Bunny. Yeah, I think Lola Bunny is the greatest. And I also basketball think her player. High, her ceiling's higher. Yeah, yeah. I think Lola Bunny is probably the greatest basketball player we've ever seen on TV. So now I'm going to flip the script here. Okay. Lola Bunny ceiling matters. Michael Jordan and LeBron James. Combined? No, individually. I mean, Lola Bunny can move at, like, light speed, right? Like, she's super so quick. She's blurred. She's she's incredible. Right. I'm going to go with even. Even. Okay. Sure. All of them are even. We we don't know. Yeah. Yeah, we don't know. I mean, yeah. That's a fair argument. Just toss that, like slide that in there quick. We, I mean, we don't know Lola's ceiling, you know. That's the right. thing. We've so. we've never seen her with a forty percent usage rate like LeBron or Michael right. Jordan. Right. I think she could ease what Michael Jordan's best uh, regular season was averaging thirty eight points. I think. Yeah. A game. I think Lola could do that in a half. Yeah. Yeah. I think she For could sure. average thirty eight and a half every. She could sit the rest of the game. Right. Yeah. Imagine getting Air Bud and Lola on the same team. It'd just be it'd be over. Yeah, I'm imagining Lola's load management. Uh, that's it. That's it. That that's was all the, of it. That's the that's the twelve people. Yeah, that's fun. You that like was that? good. Yeah, that was good. It would have been yeah. interested to see some uh, some like 
young football players, some other young, or maybe some other yeah. young basketball players that get talked about a lot, like Ja, Zion. Yeah. Here's the thing. I was going to say this about Ja earlier. Anthony Edwards compared to Ja Morant. If Ja Morant is on your team, he has to be a one. He has to have the ball in his hands. Whereas if Anthony Edwards is on your team, he doesn't necessarily have to have the ball in his hands. Right, he's shown that. I think that's the difference. If anything, you he can prefers like, it without it unless it's crunch time. You can you can say, oh, yeah, but but, <laughs> um, but the Grizzlies won, what, we're like 20 and 5 without Jaw. And it's like, yeah, but but when Jaw's on the floor, he's going to have the ball in his hands like 75% of the time. Mm-hmm. So, like, he's just like, he's very similar to his Westbrook NBA comparison coming out of the draft. Yeah. Everybody compared him to Westbrook. Yeah. The team might, the team still succeeds without you, but when you're there, the team is not no longer the same. Every player yeah. plays a different role than when you're not there. Yeah. That's John Morant. John Morant's better than what I can't say that John Morant's better than what Westbrook was because. Westbrook made the I triple mean, double. Getting the useless. triple double, yeah, yeah. Westbrook made triple double. Like when people NBA players get a triple double now, it just gets added to the stat sheet. Yeah. Before before Russell Westbrook averaged multiple in a row, people would like triple doubles were insane. yeah during Russell Westbrook's MVP season, which is incredible by the way. But it was almost just like you got numb to it throughout the season. You're like, oh okay, triple double number forty six, nice. I think it was Latrell Sprewell said that he tried to average a triple double for a month once and he was exhausted. Yeah. I think it was Latrell Sprewell said he tried to average a triple double for a month and couldn't do it. Yeah. So well, when some people are like, well, when a, when a star player or when a number one scoring option, if they tried the same, if they tried as hard as Westbrook, they could do it. Sprewell was a number one or number two right. during some games. And he was trying to get triple doubles and couldn't. Before we go on our way, I did want to mention one thing. Um, Andre Iguodala said Rashid Wallace would be a better player oh, than Giannis. Um, he'd be a top five player in the NBA. He'd be a top five player in the NBA, including being better than Giannis, because he doesn't consider Giannis a top five player. JJ Redick said Giannis isn't a top three player in the NBA. And Andre Iguodala said that Kyrie Irving's one of the top 20 players of all time. So I think Andre Udall's opinions on basketball to me are becoming yeah. less and less valid. Like he's going to be the JJ great... Redick one is actually like surprising to me. Like I can probably only think of one player that you could say that's better than Giannis, and, and that's Steph. Right. Like, at this, like it's like from what the Warriors can do. If Steph Curry was on any team, you have a chance to win every night. Uh, I but like Giannis too. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's 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 similar. Like and then it's like it's similar. We didn't like mention that. Jokic. Yeah, double two MVPs in a row. Yeah, we didn't even mention Jokic. Right, I, and so like uh, my first thought, I was like, I'd rather have Giannis than Steph, even though right. I, I mean, yeah, right. all time great. Got six years younger. Well, for me, it's his defense. Defensive player of the year. Right? For me, it's his defense. There's right. no other. If you say you say Tom Giannis is in the top ten. Out of those other top nine, out of those other nine, who plays better defense than Giannis? Kawhi, of, probably. Kawhi. I haven't seen Kawhi play basketball in so long. I wouldn't, yeah. put, him in. I haven't, right. I wouldn't put Kawhi in the top 10. Yeah, league, right? yeah. I mean, if you're I, that might like, sound crazy. I, wouldn't, I might not put him in the top 20 right health now. Wise, if Kawhi was completely healthy, is he, is he top 10? I don't know. I don't know what a fully healthy Kawhi looks like because I don't think I've ever <laughs> seen that in his entire career. Since the since he won uh, Finals MVP with the Spurs, I don't know if he was healthy that year because he played from he didn't he play on the bench until playoffs. Was he a bench yeah, player? I don't know. Something like that. So I don't know. I don't, I think Kawhi. I think Kawhi is great. Had a couple great runs, but I don't know if Kawhi Leonard's an NBA player if he's just some dude. Right. I, mean, I, just, I don't. I don't know. Who, who, is Ben Simmons good at basketball? We see some stats that is like, oh, he's close to averaging a triple double. Yeah. Does he play basketball or does he? Right. I've right. seen him on TMZ more than I've seen him on TNT. It's right. dumb as hell. Um, so, yeah, any of those guys that even try nearly as hard as Giannis on when it comes to the defensive end. Sure. is like, I don't know, I think Steph, Steph's a liability on defense. 
Yeah, he, he, I mean, he plays defense when he there. wants to. Yeah, he he's one of those who plays defense when he wants to. Not he plays, plays defense, defense when the guy across from him doesn't have a shoulder. Because Dame will put yeah. his shoulder into Steph, and then Steph has to get switched. Yeah. yeah. If a guy is willing to lower shoulder into Steph, that if the if, if Steph's job is stay in front of him because it's a quick dude, like if it's a De'Aaron Fox, Steph plays defense. Yeah. But if it's a Damian Lillard, if it, if it's a what's on uh, James Harden even if it's somebody who's gonna try to back him down or shoulder him Steph's get clay out there get Wiggins on him sure um LeBron not anymore not anymore not even he's still I mean yeah like he's still a top player in the NBA you just have to put him up there because that's LeBron James but like if you were to ask me just (laughs) this some random dude walked up to me on the street and was like hey who's the best player in the NBA I'd be like Probably Giannis. That's yeah. that. Yep. That'd be what I'd what I'd say. And like so. Jokic. Jokic doesn't really rotate as much. Like he does try on defense, but he's not athletic enough to catch right. up to like be as good as Giannis. Right. That's why I'd put Jokic up there. Luca doesn't play fucking defense. Right. As yeah. a Luca fan, Luca doesn't play defense. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, who else? We Booker up ain't there? no way. I no way. I don't even. Tatum I even not anymore. Yeah, Tatum depends. Are we talking playoffs? Because when Giannis plays in the playoffs, he gets better. <laughs> um when Jason Tatum Jason Tatum sets records in the playoffs. Let's not forget. Yeah, he yeah, sets yeah, records. Yeah. Turnovers, most turnovers in a playoff Ever. run. Ever. Yeah. Highest Ever. average and most totals. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yikes. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I just want to throw that out there. The Giannis hate is unreal. Um, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because he's foreign. I don't know if it's because he's just not flashy, doesn't do commercials, doesn't isn't always every like isn't highlight dunking every time down the court like just does nobody remember that play of him like getting the block and then going out like getting like leaping out forward and getting the block after like he defended a play came down that got up and blocked defended two players in one play that won the game like people don't remember like he was also scoring like no they would have they'd be in the they'd be in the finals right now if middleton was healthy yeah yep 100 percent. so absolutely um, so, yeah, I just want to say Andre Iguodala, oh, my God, his opinion's about as good as ours at this point. Yeah. <laughs> and he played. Right. <laughs> um, yeah. So, that's, I just want to throw it out there because I'm a big fan of Giannis. So, I uh, wanted to give him oh, a yeah. praise. He is the best player in the NBA, in my opinion, yeah. right now. Yeah, if I you want to argue, Steph, I won't fight you on it yeah. because I think it's a fair He's argument. got finals MVP, and that just adds to his legacy. So, yeah, that really does. That's really if he didn't have a finals MVP, probably yeah, wouldn't matter. Because Giannis, about any has, rings one. He has. Giannis, yeah, Giannis has one. Yeah. And Giannis', Giannis has one a... ring means the same Ooh. as Steph's 47. Yeah. <laughs> All right, everybody. That was our sports section this week. Um, a lot of people talking about basketball. So hopefully this isn't just a flood of basketball information, but this was a lot of fun. I like the segment. Last week was Baker Take. This week is uh, ceiling matters. Right. Next week will be Baker matters. Next week it's ba- does Baker's ceiling matter and does that affect Steph's legacy? <laughs> <laughs> all right. See everybody. You all look great today. GG. Wow. Wow. Wow.